Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to yet another San Diego Padres franchise here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4. Mike Fires and Corey Lupke going at it on the mounds today, both over 500, both in the 3 ERA range, and uh, it's September. If the Padres win this game, they will clinch the NL West title and will clinch their spot in the NLDS. So hopefully we can do that today. It is September, like I said, so we have called up a couple of pitchers, including both uh, pitcher prospect Casey Kelly and Henry Owens, because their AAA season is over, and a couple of batters too. So top one, loop key on the mound, first batter of the day, Carlos Gomez drives it into right field. Kemp is there at the wall, and he cannot make the catch. Myers is going to have to throw it into the cutoff, man. It was a bad throw, and Lindsey, the starting second baseman, throws it home, and they gun out Carlos Gomez. What a start. Gomez gets the triple off of that, a bad throw to the cutoff, man, by Will Myers. Gomez goes for the inside of the park home run in the new starting second baseman Taylor Lindsay that just got called up and is starting for the day makes an outstanding throw home and Norris applies the tag for the out. What a way to start off the game. That was the first batter and Mike Fires is on the mound now. 11-9 on the season and here comes Alcides Escobar leading off for the Padres. Can he do something good? And he cannot. And that's a strikeout. So unfortunately we don't get uh, the same start even though the Brewers didn't score a run. It wasn't as exciting. Another batter later, Will Myers. He is also striking out. And I have to say, Fires is definitely a good curveball pitcher. He was getting the Padres all day. Matt Kemp up to bat. Next batter. And he's sending that down the left field line. And just like that, he finds himself in scoring position. A stand-up double for Matt Kemp. And after that crazy risky play in right field, which he does not make, he kind of makes up for it by getting a double. Can Justin Upton drive him home? No, he cannot. Strikeout to the end of the inning, and um, that's it. Top of the second. Lupke on the mound. 2-2 pitch now to Ramirez, and he's hitting that right to Lupke. Going to second for one, over to first, and they convert the double play. So the runner does move to third, but now there are two outs as Adam Lind is at the plate. 2-2 pitch is hit into left center. Upton is back, and he's going to watch this one go a while. As it clears the wall, and just like that, it is 2-0 Milwaukee. Loop key not placing that pitch where he wanted it to go, and Adam Lind made sure that he made him pay, which he did, and now it's 2-0 Brewers. Bottom of the second, base is empty here for Yonder Alonso, and he is striking out. Again, that curve ball from Fires is working its magic. Derek Norris now, 2-2 pitch, two outs. Here's the pitch, and it is hit into rights, but it's going to be caught. So nothing going there for Norris and the Padres as it is yet another scoreless inning from the Brewers. Taylor Lindsay now making his debut, starting in second base just for today, though, as he will hit this one into left field, and it's going to be tracked down there by the left fielder, and that is that. Taylor Lindsay has not got his first base hit. Jonathan Lucroy up to bat now. 1-1 one, one pitch with the runner on first. In the fourth, Lukey trying to convert a double play. There's one, and there is two. So a nice job there as Luis Sardinas will come up to the plate. 0 for 1 so far today. The 0-2 pitch is hit over to Lukey, and he will get out of the jam as he makes the throw over to first. Top of the fifth. Base is empty. One out. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Carlos Gomez, and he is trying to sneak it through. He won't. It is knocked down by Escobar, but he cannot make the play. And I believe that was called an error as Gomez is on board. Now Braun hits this one down the right field line. That is fair. Runner is coming around third. Will try to score. The throw home is in time, but the momentum that Derek Norris had was a bad thing. He cannot complete the tag. And as a result, the Brewers tack on another run. It's now 3-0. Chris Davis up to bat, runner on second. One, two, pitch with two outs is hit into left field. Justin Upton's going back, track wall, and he makes the catch. 
Man, this game is already very stressful. We're only halfway through it. That is it for Lubki's Knight. We're bringing in Despanier to clean things up here in the sixth. Runner on first. O2 pitch with one out. Gets Adam Lind. Two outs now, one two pitch, and they get fires. He can pitch, but he can't hit. Despagne out of the inning. Brett Wall is coming in, third baseman, pinch hitting. Uh, again, just September Cops, just trying to get these guys in, get some MLB experience for them, and he is striking out again on that curveball. Padres need to do something quick if they want to win this game and clinch the division. Escobar up to bat now, one out in the bottom of the six. He's going to bunt down the third baseline. Let's see if he can beat it out. Here's the throw, and they just barely get him. Escobar, with nothing to lose, just tries to put down a bunt and use his speed to beat it out. He almost does, but he can't. Corey Mazzoni in his debut in the MLB. We'll see what he can do as it's the top of the seventh. Base is empty with no outs, and that is his first career major league strikeout. Corey Mazzoni won't really crack the rotation next year. Maybe the uh, bullpen, I don't know, but he might stay in the minors for a little bit longer, and he's going to get out of the ending here with a fly out to center, and Myers makes the catch. So, moving on now. Bottom of the seventh, Will Middlebrooks up to bat. Base is empty, one out, 2-2 pitch coming. He hits the curveball into left field, and that's something you don't see so far this game. Um, the Padres really just have not been able to figure out Mike Fires and his curveball as it's been tough to hit. Yonder Alonso now. Can't get the changeup. Two outs now. Middlebrooks still on first, and Derek Norris strikes out Will or, sorry, Mike Fires is on a roll. This is the moment, though, Padres fans have been waiting for. Henry Owens making his MLB debut, not as a starter, but as a reliever. He will come in to relief. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Lucroy up to bat, and that is hit in the left. And that's gone. Henry Owens, welcome to the MLB. Yes, we're not in AAA anymore. Lucroy crushes that hanging curveball, whatever that was, from Owens in the left field, and that was well over 400 feet. And you know what? Henry Owens, first battery faces, it's going to happen. Hopefully he can recover. Next pitch now to Ramirez, and he's singling off the 1-1 pitch into center field. So Henry Owens, not looking too good. Next batter, 3-2 pitch. Adam Linz, ball four, that's high. And Henry Owens is done for the day, guys. Three batters. Gives up a single, a homer, and a walk. That is not good. So we're going to have to send in Kevin Quackenbush to clean up things here as we are in the eighth. Runners on first and second. And that is a double down the right field line. That is not good. Kemp has to track it down. One run is in. The runner is going to stay at third. So there will be, be runners at second and third for the Brewers. And, man, even Quackenbush can get out of that mess. Well, he will now as the 2-2 pitch is over to Middlebrooks. He'll throw over to first, and Alonzo makes the catch. So one run is sacrificed in that inning, or at least for Quackenbush. Another home run given up by Henry Owens. So we're moving to the bottom of the ninth. Mike Fires is still in, and well over 100 pitches, as that is a walk to Matt Kemp. Justin Upton now with Kemp at first. Here's the 1-2 pitch, 103rd of the night, and it is... I guess that would be a wild pitch maybe, but either way, Kemp was stealing, and he goes to second. Justin Upton with the 3-2 pitch is hit into right, and it's not going to be able to go over the fence of the furthest part of the ballpark, but it is going to allow Matt Kemp to, uh, to tag up and go to third base. So here comes Will Middlebrooks with one out. 108th pitch of the day is chopped out in front, and Middlebrooks is retired. So two outs now, last hope. For the Padres is Yonder Alonso. One for three so far in this one. Kemp at third. Two outs. 3-1 pitch is high. And that is ball four. So one last hope for Norris. A home run would make it 5-3. 0 for three so far. 2-2 two -two pitch coming. 116th of the day for Mike Fires, And it is hit into left. Can that go further? It is going back. And unfortunately, Chris Davis is going to make the catch at the track and that's going to do it for the ball game so your final score here from petco park the brewers five and the padres nothing they get shut out unfortunately they can't clinch the nl west this game as they give up 15 hits and only get four it was tough it was a tough night offensively and defensively 
for the Padres. And your player of the game definitely goes to Mike Fires, as he went the full nine innings, giving up zero runs, 12 walks, or sorry, 12 strikeouts, and three walks. So we sim forward a little bit, and what do you know? The Padres win the division. They win the NL West and will be taking on the blank for the division series in the NL. You will see next episode, we will have a playoff preview. You will know who the Padres will be facing as they finish the season at 90 and 72. If you want to know who they're facing, check out the next video. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, peace. <laughs>